about this one because I think this is one of the most crucial part because you don't want to get rejected by the NMC because if you have a lot of submits in your documents, you can see it again for 3 months after you can get back to it again. Hi guys, it's Sally and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's the most requested video on my YouTube channel. I mean, ito kasi lagi kong nalilisip like what's next after CBT or how did you process your documents and all that. So today, I'm going to share it with you. But let me just first say na medyo hirap din talaga akong mag-organize ng thoughts ko about this one. Kasi I think this is one of the most crucial part is you don't wanna get rejected by the NMC. Kasi pag may mali ka na submit sa inyong documents, is maghintay ka ulit ng 3 months after ka pwede magpasa ulit ng application mo. And of course, another um, registration fee all of them. So, that costs mga 8 to 9,000. So, this would be a part 1 video. So, meaning lahat ay discuss ko sa inyo is yung nandun lang sa website. So, part 2 would be list lahat ng documents na nadag kailangan i-download kasi yung mas complicated. So, para mas clear ko siya explain uh, I decided na part 1 and part 2 na lang. So, let me clear out some things first before we finally begin, okay? So, itong isi-share kong application sa inyo is based lang sa akin. So, I'm single and hindi pa ako nagkakaroon ng experience abroad or hindi ako ex-abroad na nurse. So, I think may mga additional requirements if married ka and may experience ka na abroad. But anyway, yun nga sinasabi ko, it differs from everyone naman. So, at least this one, I can explain to you the best that I can kasi ako talaga yung nag-hands-on dito sa pag-fill up ko na application online. So, ano pa ba? Um, ang mapapakita ko rin lang sa inyo is yung readable na view na lang siya. So, meaning kasi nag-submit na ako, so hindi ko na rin siya may edit out. At eh, talagang siya share ko sa inyo yung exactong sinabmit ko na. But of course, the details are, syempre, tatakban ko yung iba. Yung mga personal details ko. So, ayun lang, I hope this video will help sa lahat ng gustong um, mag-process ng kanilang application and walang agency or may agency pero hirap intindihin. I'm going to explain it to you sa paraan na naintindihan ko siya nung ginagawa ko siya. And anyway, it was double-checked by my agency. So, I believe tama naman yung mga pinaglalagay ko dito. So, without further ado, let's start. Okay, so, ang una mong gagawin is that you need to log in sa inyong NMC account and I will show you kung ano yung itsura niya once you log in kung nasa part ka na ng application and assessment. Ayan. So, anyway, discuss ko lang dito yung nasa top, top bar. Okay, so, yung first would be the eligibility. So, this one, of course, gagawa ka lang naman ng NMC account mo pag nakapasa ka na sa English test. So, that's the eligibility. And then, the exam part one, that is the CBT, which is yung theory. Kasi yung OSCE, that would be yung, kumbaga, return demo na or yung practical. So, after passing the exam part one, magbabayad ka ng application fee. Then, upon, pag nagbayad ka ng application fee, tsaka mo lang makikita itong full application and assessment. So, nandiyan na ako. So, hindi ko na pwedeng balikan. Walang button na pwedeng balikan. Bumalik or pwedeng mag-advance sa exam part to identity, identity check and registration fee and declaration. So, talagang dyan ka lang <laughs> sa part na yan na. So, on the left side naman, so, punta tayo dito sa una. So, ito na yung uh, unang part, okay? So, dito tayo sa proof of identification. So, yan, nakikita nyo sa inyong screen. So, identification yan. Please upload the relevant documentary evidence for the details supplied in this section. So, yun. Alam nyo naman na mag-fill up siguro nyan. First name, surname, country of nationality, which is the Philippines. And then, your passport number. Of course, kailangan may passport ka na. And make sure guys na nakarinyo na kayo or matagal pa yung expiry ng inyong passport. And then, passport expiry date. And then, upload passport copy. So, this one, yung front lang yung passport yung need ninyo. Uh, anyway guys, bago ko makalimutan, lahat ng i-upload nyo dito sa website ng NMC is lahat dapat converted sa PDF. So, it might be a photo or yung document, yung naka-word. Kailangan i-convert nyo siya lahat sa PDF. And please make sure na hindi corrupted yung file. Kasi meron dati nag-upload ako, nag-convert ako ng PDF na Word. And naging parang iba yung language niya. So, make sure sa legit kayo na site nag-convert ng documents niyo And double check it, guys. So, yun. Upload passport copy. So, yan. So, yung front lang naman yung kailangan. And 
picture colored siya. So, yan. Date of birth. Ayan. And then, upload birth certificate copy. So, make sure ito, ito ay galing sa PSA. So, yan. Madali lang naman mag-order. Ako lang, kaka-order ko lang siya. And para na-receive ko siya within a week or less than. Mabilis lang naman. So, yun. And then there, if your name has ever been changed, you must submit documentary evidence below. Note, we accept marriage certificate or change of deed. Deed poll certificate. So, yan. Hindi applicable sa akin yan. Kaya hindi ko alam. Hindi ko yan ginalaw. <laughs> So, dito, next would be, would you like to add more identification evidence? Click on yes. And then, mag-upload ka ng file mo dyan. So, ang sabi sa akin is yung CV or yung curriculum vitae ko. Yung ilalagay nyo dyan. So, yun lang naman. Okay, so after nyan, you go to the next. So, punta tayo sa English Language Skills. So, yan. Evidence of English Language Competence. So, Please indicate below the type of evidence you will provide, ensuring that you have read the guidance notes carefully before submitting your evidence. If you are providing evidence under the International English Language Test System, IELTS, or Occupational English Test, OET, you must provide evidence via the form to accompany transcript of training or the employment reference form. So that one, yung sinasabi dito, form to accompany transcript of training, ito yung ita-download nyo dito from this website. And i-accomplish ng register ninyo. So, ito yung sinasabi kasi nila. Meron mga countries kasi na parang pag nag... Kunyari, yung gamit doon is full na English from the year you started schooling. Kumbaga, elementary, um, high school, and then college. Parang ganun. English na yung gamit ninyo. Pwede na kayo hindi mag ng English test. Pero, of course, hindi yan applicable dito sa Philippines. Kasi, di ba? Tagalog, taglish tayo dito. So, yan, I click in type 1 evidence, which is the English language test system. So, that would be OET. Yan, yung test type, OET. Yan. Note, if you're providing OET results, please make sure you log into your My OET account and give the NMC permission to verify the results. So, yan. So, dyan, yung candidate ID. So, this one is the candidate number. So, meron to makikita nyo na lang pag... Um, pagpunta nyo sa website ng OET or pag IELTS yung gamit nyo, meron din dun, meron din dun yung candidate number niya. Alright, so next, please ensure a minimum score of B for OET. If combining two tests, please enter the highest score in each area and give the NMC permission to verify both results. So, yan. So, of course, yung ko dyan, puro B, 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 B. Ayan. So, yun lang naman for that one. Then, next would be Professional education and training. So, yeah. Please enter the number of years primary and secondary education you completed before starting your formal nursery and midwifery training program. So, this would be your elementary and your high school in high school years. So, that would be 10 years ang ilalagay nyo dyan. So, just the number 10. Kasi pag nilagay nyo ng years, hindi siya nagsisave eh. Kasi tatry ko na yun. Okay, next would be the qualification details. So, post-secondary qualifications only. So, qualification gain, of course, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Then, date commence. Kung kailan yung date ng grad... Hindi, yung graduation. Kung kailan kayo nag-start ng college, yung date. And then, date completed, of course, yung date ng graduation. And then, here, upload qualification certificate copy. So, that would be your diploma. And the name of your institution, that would be your school. Yung pangalan ng school ninyo, and then yung address ng school. Of course, yung town or city where your school is located, then your country or state. So, that would be yung region. So, Pangasinan. Pangasinan kasi ako. And then, postcode or zip code, that would be 2434 for Pangasinan, then country Philippines. And then, telephone or country code, yan, Philippines, yan naman is, may mga options yan nakalagay. So, plus 63, telephone number, nung school, ayan. And then, mobile country code, ayan, plus 63 pa rin. And then, mobile number ulit nung school. And then, email address nung school. So, please download the training transcript document below and send it to the training institution detailed above. When completed, please return to us by post. So, this one, ito yung sinasabi ko, yung form to accompany training, transcript of training, this, this would be accomplished by the school. Ayan. So, nakita niya, this document has been received. Ibig sabihin, na-receive ng delay. Kinagdala ko kasi, 
Later on, lahat-lahat ng mga dinadownload na documents, kailangan yung i-return sa NMC via courier. Kailangan nyo siyang ipadala. So, yun. And then, if you are missing training in some clinical areas, please download the document below. Once completed, please return to us by post. So, yan, hindi naman na kailangan. Hindi ko yan ginalaw kasi okay naman daw. So, would you like to add more qualifications? Just click on no. Okay, that's for the third part. Then, next, let's go to post-qualification registration. So, yan. Registration is three. So, name of authority would indicate their PRC or the Professional Regulation Commission. Country of registration would be Philippines. Then, telephone country code. And, naman, plus 63. Then, telephone number of PRC. Makikita nyo naman yan pag sinurit sa so website nila. And then, contact email. Yan yung nilagay ko. Yan yung na-search ko. Website address. So, prc.gov.ph. Registration number. That would be your license number. And then, date of registration, makikita nyo yan sa inyong um, license. Ayan. Then, expiry date. Ayan. So, make sure nakarenew na rin kayo para walang problema dito sa part na to. Then, upload registration certificate copy. So, ito yung parang diploma na galing sa PRC. So, yun. Actually, kung ano, nakuha nyo na to eh, for sure. Kasi ako nakuha ko na to nung kinuha ko lahat ng files na needed sa PRC nung kinuha ko yung license ko. Alright, so ito na. Please upload a copy of police certificate in relation to the country registration authority mentioned above. So, ito, um, NBI. Ayan. Kasi wala naman akong, hindi naman ako nag-example. So, ito, you will also need to provide one for each country in which you have lived for more than a year. For more than three months since the age of 18. If you live in the UK, you can provide a disclosure in varying Parang service DBS check, please can and upload this as a single document. So, yan hindi ko siya ginawa kasi nga. Hindi naman ako nagpunta ng ibang country or nanirahan ng ibang country. Then next, so ito, wala na rin yan. Please download the document below. Send it off to the registration authority mentioned above for the completion. Ah, so yan pala kasama yan. So, I wait. So, yan pala hindi ko na ginalaw. So, from this one after nung upload police certificate, copy dito sa babang ito ay hindi ko na ginalaw. So, no need na daw dyan. And then, just click on no. Dun sa would you like to add more registration details. Next would be the work experience. So, for this part, sabi na employer ko ay wag nang sagutan. <laughs> so, yan. Okay na lang yan. Okay na yan. Okay. Pero dun sa dulo, just click on there. Would you like to add more employment details? Just click on no. And then, here, good character and good health. So, yan. Ititik mo lang naman. So, have you ever been convicted of criminal offense? So, of course, no. Have you ever been disciplined by a professional or regulatory body or your employer? Of course, no. And if you had any civil proceedings, divorce, or whatsoever brought against you, of course, no. And then, this one, declaration of good health. So, ito rin ay isa sa inyong itadownload. So, nakita nyo dyan, this document has been received kasama siya dun sa mga pinadala kong documents by post. So, ito, again, i-explain ko na lang dun sa second part. And then, here, next one, the last one, would be the declaration. So, yan, basahin nyo na lang about sa ano, criminal mga offenses lang naman to, ganyan, and about your character. So, confirmation of declaration, tick on that box, and then check, magiging check yan. And then, yan, Meron dito na wala na yung button, pero meron dito yung submit. Okay? So, anyway guys, pag nag-fill up kayo nitong application na to, you only have 60 minutes, then after that, para mag exit siya. So, whenever you're right, or hindi mo pa ma-accomplish lahat ng to ng isang beses lang, meron kasing button na dito na save and exit. So, hindi nyo lang siya makikita rito ngayon kasi read only na nga lang siya. So, ang ginagawa ko, save and exit, save and exit. Kasi nakakatakot, pag dumating ka na dun sa declaration, dun na kasi yung submit. So, pag nakikita ko yun, okay na ka ba? No? Kasi baka maklip mo ng hindi oras. So, be careful kasi wala nang magagawa yung agency pag naklip nyo na yan. So, ayun lang naman. There are still some forms. So, madali siya kung etong unang part kasi yan lang kung ano din nakikita nyo dyan. Pero, on the next part, I will be going to discuss yung kung 
ano yung mga pinapadala or pinapa-return by post. Ibig sabihin, pina mismo ipapadala mo siya sa UK. So, hindi lang siya confined sa mga forms na nandito, but there are certain documents na additional na binigay ng agency ko to be accomplished. Most likely by the school lang naman siya. And then yun, yung declaration of school health by 